welcome back everybody. When we left off, we got some more codex pages, so now we're gonna talk to our old friend, Leonardo DiCaprio. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? <laughs> of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Practice what you preach. <laughs> this should be good. So on that note, welcome back everybody. You know, it's kind of hard to introduce the video in like 10 seconds, but you know what they say. When in Rome. Anyways, now we're gonna get a chance to try some more assassination moves. This is gonna be fun. We're finally becoming a full-fledged assassin, which by the way, if you're wondering, there's not really gonna be any... Actually, I'll talk about that in just a little bit, but for now, stab him in the back! Okay. Next up, we have my personal favorite, the air attack. And up next, we have something I like to call the domino. <laughs> Why is it called the domino? Well, because I have a domino's pizza cup right here in my hand. At any rate, now that we're done learning those new moves, let's go back to Leonardo and see what else he has to say. He was working on something, if you don't remember. I don't know, what? Two minutes ago? Man, time flies. Anyways, cutscene. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Abisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Start then, tu amico. Kazoon tight. Anyways, now I have you guys all to myself for a few minutes here. We're gonna go and make our way slowly to, um, Mercato. <laughs> Once again, please forgive my pronunciation, but what I was gonna say a little bit earlier is that even though this game has an open world, it's, how should I say, not open worlded. <laughs> of course I'm contradicting myself, but it follows a very linear storyline, which is by no means a bad thing. We're already here, by the way. Man, I can't get a word in edgewise. Anyways, what do you have over here? Ah, uh, yes. Fox Hunt. Now, we're gonna be looking for La Volpa, but I don't know what he looks like. I mean, I can just assume he looks like Mario. You know, Italians. But I don't think I'll get very far with that. Anyway, let's turn on our eagle vision, look around, and... Ah, there he is. Spotted him. Let's go kill him. No, I'm just joking. Hey, lootist, get out of my way. Once again, you can loot those guys if you want them to leave you alone, but here we are. Alright, Mr. Fox. Get ready to die. What? My pouch! Oh, my money! Your money! I don't have your money! <laughs> Oh no! I had three dollars in there! Get back, Get back you thief! Me. Guards! Kill him! Um, guards? Nah, forget you guys. Dive! My... I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. 
Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo, let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Oh, thank you. Anyways, how did we get onto the roof? I'm not even going to question it, actually. Let me get down here and start this new quest. Yes, game, I do know how to use Eagle Vision. Thank you for reminding me. Anyways, cutscene. Follow me, but we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. You know, since we're in such a hurry, I thought we'd just stand around for a little bit, though. But hey, all joking aside, what I really like about this quest is the music. Let me crank it up a little bit, actually. After, of course, His Highness is done taking his sweet time. Any minute now, Chief. I'm, uh... Okay, here we go. Pardon me, good townspeople. Wait, wrong accent. I'm... <laughs> Anyways, the music should be starting up pretty soon here, so let me boost it up a little bit. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh, of course, after this guy. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, enjoy a listen here, everybody. Okay, that's enough of that. It's always a little bit risky to cut out commentary when there's nothing going on. I mean, I do have music, but I do realize that some people aren't exactly in music appreciation class right now. And yes, I totally almost missed that jump. But at any rate, we're almost there. Man, I gotta find some more transitionary words. I use anyways a lot. I use at any rate. I use but anyways a lot. But anyways, here we are. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle, turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Hmm. Buona fortuna. Alright, here we go. You know, I may be mistaken, but I believe that this next upcoming cutscene was in a trailer for this game. Yeah, I mean, no spoilers, but it is alright. You know, we're gonna learn a few things, maybe kill a few people. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Let's get down there. Alright, Mr. Skullhead. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Just gotta check my back first, and... STAB! Cool, high tech. Well, uh, this looks safe. Let me just uh, leap down there. And on we go. Now, I would just like to preface this next area by saying it's going to be a lot of platforming. I am considering putting a skip link right here, but we'll see. Only time will tell in the end. Novella's secret. At any rate, to compromise, I'm just going to give this a slight speed up. Hopefully you guys can't tell too, too much. But you know what? This also gives me a chance to talk to you guys. <laughs> Ten minutes, I, and I haven't said a thing, have I? Hey, you know what? Now that I got the time, I better talk about this right now. At the end of the last video, we were in Monteregione, if you remember. We began this video in front of Leonardo's shop, but I didn't show you guys a transition, did I? Well, uh, long story short, I cut all of that out. I mean, go figure, right? But you didn't miss anything. There was some building stuff, some economy. I don't think I'm going to show too much of that just because it's kind of, how should I say, filler gameplay. Since I do have the time, however, let me just say that it's a way to get money. And as for the money in this game, I haven't talked about that either. All I'm really going to do is probably upgrade my armor. I mean, I prefer flighting, flighting, <laughs> I prefer flighting, my man. I prefer fighting with the double blades, as I didn't even mention that, did I, man? But anyways, Leo, when we left off from the last shop, he gave us some double blades, and they're so cool. Can't wait to show them off for you. Let me pull this wedge here. <clears throat> Quest complete! Now, one other thing that I have to mention really quickly. Throughout the world are various tombs where we're gonna find, uh, you guessed it, tombs of old assassins. Now, what is important about that is, wait, one second. Leap of faith! Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, I see some guards. Let's go kill them. How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. 
Dang it, I missed my chance. Oh well, let's go after them. You know, it would kind of suck getting paid in gold, don't you think? Having to carry, that would be heavy. I mean, all I carry around now is like a credit card, which is good enough for me. Oh, time for my best American accent. I know, I'll use my credit card. Hey, is that a guard right there? <laughs> I thought they left. Well, this is disconcerting. Yeah! <laughs> Take that, sucker. Let's get up here. Oh, what I like to do with this guy, I'll show you what I do. Rather than climbing up on here, because he will spot you nine times out of ten. Just walk up to this corner over here and stab him in the back. How many kills is that so far? I'm guessing around the neighborhood of about 30. That's just kind of a lot if you think about it. You know, 30 homicides. That's like life in jail. That's like two lifetimes in jail. I've always wondered, like, what is the point of giving someone more than lifetime in jail? I was like, are you going to keep them after they're dead? I mean, I guess you could zombify them and uh, turn them into workers or <laughs> I don't even know. What am I talking about here? Let me change the subject before I get into trouble here. But hey, on the bright side, we're about halfway done through this place. If you're like getting bored of me talking, we're going to have another cutscene up very quickly. Right after I press this button, I think. Let's see. Dramatic pause. Merda! The door! Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here! If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post, so help me God! Okay, this next part is really... how should I say? Really meticulous. There are a lot of things you're gonna have to do, and very quickly, it's gonna be hard to execute. But I'll show you, um, my version. You know, you can kill them all without setting off the alarm, but there's a simpler way to do it. I'll show you how. Jump in here. Wait for the guards to pass. Well, make sure they're not looking at you, first of all. And now just bide your time. It will be like playing a game of chess. <laughs> Murder chess, that is. But anyways, wait for these guys to pass by. The first one will leave him. And then, wait for it. Blow your cover! Do you think they saw me? Hey, wait a second. Oh, there it is. I was kind of hoping that I would have uh, been able to kill him, but you know what? Let's chase after him. It's a little more fun this way. And besides, we can always use the cardio. Anyways, these guys are called Agiles, I believe. They're so fast, I don't think it's possible to catch up to them. But we can chase them. We'll have to uh, keep up our pace. It's kind of cool if you think about it, these scripted chase scenes. Oh man, I almost died right there. Oh yeah, one thing you'll notice is he likes to close gates right after him, and as annoying as it may seem, the game does offer many like alternative pathways, so it really keeps the uh, the pace going. Anyways, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, come on, man. You're killing the floor. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. All right, Lantern, it's all up to you. Now, they do like to tease you a lot in this game, but you know what? I'm going to try something. I, uh, I've actually never done this before, but so let's see if this works. Man, that guy's booking it. He must be scared. But let's see if we can get a nice long stretch of road right here. Come on. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be perfect. Okay. I don't think I've tried this before, but let me pull out my knives and stab him in the back. <laughs> it worked. Wow, that was uh, not expected. Okay, well, if you were wondering, he would have only alerted these, uh, I think there's like four guards to the left room, but you know we can skip them anyways, just run up here. Wait, let me just sneak by. Okay, and uh, while we're right up here, and you will uh, pretty much be able to bypass them either way, so no big deal. But hey, I think this is the last door, so on we go to the secret meeting. See you guys in a few minutes. Let benedictio dei omnipotentes, patris et fili et spiritus sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, padre. Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift you mean the Pope consents? He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? 
Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, May the Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. What? No human sacrifices? These guys give cultists a bad name. Anyways, if you're wondering, no, we're not going to kill any of them, unfortunately, Look but... Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Nah, you think? But anyways, I didn't get to mention this earlier. I'll tell you in just a minute, though. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Thank you, Rebecca. Now, what I was going to say earlier is that I cut out a little bit of the... How should I say... Background gameplay. All you need to know from that, however, is that Ezio locked away some armor, and the only way to unlock the... I'm sorry, not Ezio, Altair, the guy from the first game, he locked away his armor, and the only way to unlock the kind of cage that it's in is to get all of these little signets. The catch, of course, is that they're all hidden away in these, like, these puzzle-like tombs, where they're not exactly easy to get. I will be talking about that a little bit more later. Getting the armor is totally optional if you're wondering by the way, but for now, let's get back into the gameplay. There's another cutscene right around the corner. I know where Francesco will be and when, but... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Hmm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. And it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of High Mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd. Get close and stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi. It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. I hope I'm right too, La Volpe. Okay, this next place is a little bit of a walk, so I'll be meeting you there. After I kill this guy, of course. Sorry, I just couldn't resist. Alright, off we go. Man, what is it with all these guards on the rooftops? Haha, <laughs> no scope. That'll teach him. I wonder if I can make this jump. Only one way to find out. Box! Ha, <laughs> nailed it. Get out of my way, peasant. Hey, look who I found. Yeah! Whoops. He was just a messenger. <laughs> My bad. You know what? I'm gonna have to take your insurance information. Let me just meander through that. And we're there. What do we got? Wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay, one thing I should say before we start this is that it gets a little bit, um, M-rated. Try not to give anything away here. And, uh, yeah. Let me just leave it at that. Alright, let's go find this guy. Wait, who am I looking for? Nah, it doesn't matter. Eagle Vision. Activate. Alright. Found him. I'll see you guys in a few. There's Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. But where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Danitore! Giuliano! No! Your day is done, Lorenzo! Your entire family dies by my sword! Not so fast! You saved my life. It's nothing. 
But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah! Not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust. Can you... Ah! Don't worry, Lorenzo. I got your back. Okay, time for everybody's favorite. An escort quest. You know, I remember back in the day when these were so annoying, like your companion, they would either get killed or get lost or get stuck somewhere and you couldn't finish the mission, you'd have to restart from the last save point. And uh, back in the day, of course, save points. Don't get me started. But in many contemporary games, this one included, they're not as bad as they used to be. In fact, all we really have to do now is just run past all the fights and uh, <laughs> we pretty much win. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. Pretty simple so far, but of course, they are gonna force you into a fight here. But let me see if I can pull this off. Kamehameha! <laughs> get into the light, man. Just get into the light! Lorenzo has been wounded! Aprite la porta! What's the password? Polizia! Open the maledetta porta! By the Christ greatest, come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! Wait! I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. Your Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria! We cannot hold them off much longer! No! If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power! Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Well, you guys heard the man. Oh wait, I think I see someone. <laughs> you can't run from me, get back here. You can't run forever. Oh, hey there, Mr. Guard, don't mind me. Yeah! So, we're cool now, right? <laughs> right, I'll see you guys later. Alright, next mission. Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Farewell, Francesco. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> not. Hey, it's nighttime now, and I'm not notorious. That's convenient. Let me just walk up these inconspicuously placed barrels and get onto the roof again. I'll let these small fries battle to the death down there. All in a day's work, really. Oh, hey, you see those guys on the side? The, uh, like they have that little mask for an icon? They're also prostitutes. No, I'm just joking. They're actually thieves, and what they can be used for is uh, distracting the guards. Now, I'm not sure if they're really great at combat, but we'll worry about that a little bit later, as I often say. Alright, now, um, I don't know if I have to get into the floor for this part, but let me see if I can get this building new. No, totally missed. <laughs> Alright, we can walk. I'm not above that. We'll have to do it like the pioneers did. I imagine their assassinations back in the day. Man, how far- should I cut this out? Do you guys want to see me, like, running around the city all day? It's empty right now, there's nothing going on. I suppose I can still be talking right now, but... Oh, hey, here we go. Let me just get onto the building. Look for an opening. Ah, ladder. <laughs> how convenient. Man, things are just going my way, aren't they? Right, let's get onto this building over here, and... Cutscene. You dead! Men! Slaughter him! It's gonna take more than that to kill me, Francesco. I am impervious to swords, as it uh turns out. <laughs> but hey, let's try to make our way around the building and flank this guy. There are gonna be a couple guards on the way, but we'll do our best to avoid them. So let's see what we got. Climb up here, and I believe there's a guard patrolling the top side over here. Ah, perfect. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> Take that. Now while these guys on the side are distracted, let's sneak around the side. And uh, yeah, we, we did kill one guy, but you know, he probably had it coming anyways. Man, ton of guards, aren't there? Oh well, let's drop down here. <laughs> They'll be none the wiser. I'm a master of stealth. Bow before my might. And yeah, they saw me. You know what? Forget this stuff. 
Pretty sure that guy had it coming too. And besides, he blew my cover. Unforgivable. But hey, there's another cutscene coming up, so I'm gonna go and sneak back here. <laughs> Didn't even see me. And I will see you in a few. Gods! Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Can't get away that easy, Francesco. Come back here. Do you can play this game. Come on, why do they always have to run? You know you're not gonna get away. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, trying to play tricky now. It's no use, Francesco. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Ugh, almost had him right there. Okay, you get to live a couple more seconds. Just take solace in that. But I've gotta tell you something. I'm so sorry, Francesco. But it's over. Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Francesco? <laughs> and that'll do it. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching, as always, and I'll see ya next time. It will be like playing a game of chess. <laughs> Murder chess, that is. But anyways, wait for these guys to pass by. The first one will leave him. And then, wait for it. Blow your cover! Do you think they saw me? Now, we're gonna be looking for La Volpa, but I don't know what he looks like. I mean, I can just assume he looks like Mario. You know, Italians. But I don't think I'll get very far with that. Hey, look who I found. Yeah! Whoops, he was just a messenger, my bad. <laughs>